So you've learned how to identify hazards, some obvious, some not so obvious. You've even learned the first step towards anticipating hazards. But what happens when things don't go as planned? How can you prepare yourself for the unexpected? Well, let's get out of here and I'll show you. Take a left out of this exit. Stop here and look left before pulling out. Okay, you're clear to go because this car is turning into the gas station, right? Well, what if he doesn't turn and you decide to pull out? As I said, things don't always go as planned, and other drivers don't always make good decisions or obey traffic laws. Now it's safe to pull out. One way to prepare for the unexpected is to use a technique called what if. It means as you drive, constantly ask yourself, what if? For instance, what if this car on the left decides to pull out in front of us? What if this car decides to stop suddenly because the light turned yellow? What if this car pulls out in front of you? What if the kid decides to run across the street? Stuff like this happens all the time. Okay, here's a math quiz. If you're traveling at the posted speed limit, how close will you get to the kid before coming to a stop? The answer, you won't even have your foot on the brake when you hit him. Well, even if you were paying full attention to the road, it takes several seconds to recognize what's going on. Determine if it's a hazard. Decide on the appropriate response and to move your foot from the accelerator to the brake. So, how do you give yourself more time to react? The obvious would be to stay alert and drive slower in busier areas, but there's another technique that can reduce your reaction time. It's called covering the brake. Here's how it works. 
When you approach a busy area, instead of keeping your foot over the gas, rest your foot gently on the brake pedal, but do not depress it. You're not actually slowing down, but you're ready to at any moment. This technique can give you a few moments more to react to a situation should it occur. Try it yourself. Scan for hazards and ask yourself, what if? Then cover the brake when appropriate. See how quickly you can respond to any situation. Okay, I think you got it. Pull over by any of these houses and shut down your vehicle. At first, you might have to make a conscious effort to think, what if? But as you get a little more experience, it'll happen more naturally. <laughs> 